Hey, what's up LEGO Star Wars fans and YouTubers? This is Derek Von S. And in this video, I want to show you all the LEGO Star Wars Mandalorian playsets that are available right now. I'm not interested in the uh, buildable uh, Baby Yoda since I have the Yoda. And I'm not a big uh, Brickheads fan, so I don't plan on buying those um, particular sets. Um, I'm really excited about uh, reviewing the uh, Razor Crest, but first I want to show off all the uh, minifigures here since we have them all out. Here are the uh, four Mandalor Mandalorian Tribe Warriors. This uh, Mandalorian Battle Pack is uh, set number 75267 as 102 pieces. Here's the uh, first Mandalorian Tribe Warrior. This one has a green helmet and a brown cape. It's like a blue, dark blue tone. Two of these have the, uh, the little, little antenna, and uh, three of them do have uh, some slight leg printing, which is nice. You can't really see the uh, back with the uh, cape, but that's okay. Here's the uh, second Mandalorian Tribe Warrior. This one has a silver helmet. Has some really uh, cool markings on throughout all these, actually. With uh, maybe like a maybe like a uh, teal, like a baby blue almost in a way. Here's his uh, back printing. All of these um, Mandalorian uh, figures that have a black helmet, there's nothing underneath there. So I don't have to show that off. That, that one actually has a nice uh, shine to it there. Here's uh, the blue one with uh, the gray. I think this is my favorite. This reminds me of uh, Jango Fett in a way. He has a green cape. There's his back printing. I like these uh, helmets better. They are... Uh, more in line with the uh, Bubba Fett and the Mandalorian. Just with the uh, style of the helmet, I think uh, these two are really cool. Here's the uh, brown one with the uh, orange helmet. And this one um, on the box, um, it uh, shows uh, him riding on this little uh, speeder bike, actually. So um, maybe that's why they didn't print the legs, maybe. Here's the uh, back. Okay, and I did uh, swap out their uh, stud shooter weapons for the uh, regular little blasters. Here's the uh, human and carbonite. This is uh, for the Razor Crest, set number 75292. This has 1,023 pieces. This is the uh, human and carbonite. There's nothing on the back here. I'll show you later. You can uh, slide this in the cargo, which is really cool. You can open up the whole entire ship, which I'll show you later. This is uh, Mithril. In carbonite and he's um probably like an alien of some sort i'm not sure if this is the same uh char aquatic uh character the blue character that i'm thinking of or not but um that could be him i'm not sure from the um season one whenever he gets first frozen in carbonite here's a uh, ig11 which is uh similar to the uh character that we got in the uh, cloud city set the other uh, bounty hunter I think that's IG-88 maybe. This is uh, IG-11. He's kind of like the uh, uh, Federation Troopers, kind of like, I think we've got a couple uh, droids like this in the in the uh, past. He has a long blaster you clip on the back and uh, with the uh, medium sized blaster on the side. Here's uh, the uh, face printing, which I don't think this is really any different than the uh, figure that we got in Cloud City which I'm going to show you um, in a later video, actually. Here's the uh, Scout Trooper. And for the uh, Return of the Jedi fans, this is a really cool figure. He does not have the uh, angry clone trooper face. It's uh, a little bit different. I'm not even sure. That could, might even be the uh, same one we got for uh, Lucius Malfoy, actually. It could be. There's the uh, back. Very cool. You could put this in the ATST Raider and kind of imagine uh, the Return of the Jedi, I guess, w which would be more fitting, I would say. But uh, th these uh, characters are most notably known for when they are arguing with the uh, kicking baby Yoda around, and I think that was a really funny scene, actually, when they're uh, missing. This is uh, Grief Karga. This is a new figure. I think this is a must-have, especially since we got Cara Dune. And uh, these characters are going to be returning for uh, Season 2, which I'm very excited about. It's a little bit harder to uh, focus on uh, to see this. It's a little bit darker. Here's his alternate face expression, where he looks pretty angry at the Mandalorian. Pretty cool. 
He comes with uh, two of the uh, short blasters. He has the uh, open arms there. Very cool. Here is the uh, long-awaited little uh, Baby Yoda figure. And this is only actually one stud. You can move the head around. It's a little bit uh, kind of like a rubbery material. But this is really cute, honestly, in a way. Very cool. You can set him on uh, the Mandalorian's lap in the ship if you like. Here's uh, the Mandalorian, and he comes with a really cool uh, long uh, blaster. He has some uh, great uh, torso and leg printing. Again, he has the uh, black faces, just like the other uh, Mandalorian warriors. Here's the uh, back printing. I hope we we get uh, Beskar armor. If we get some uh, later, maybe season uh, two sets, that would be great. I can't wait for that. But this is a great figure. This also came with the ATST Raider. Here's an honorable uh, mention to uh, the uh, Day 5 2020 Advent Calendar for Star Wars. Here's the little uh, micro build of the Razor Crest, which is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Actually, I, I set this right in front of it. I think this is really neat. I pretty much uh, bought that just for this and uh, the extra red Sith Trooper. Okay, here's the uh, figures for the ATST Raider. This is set number 75254, and this has 540 pieces. This is Cara Dune, and um, she's one of my favorite characters from this uh, series. Um, I think that's a great inclusion. There's her more uh, angry face on the other side here. But in my opinion, uh, just with the colors and everything and uh, the different skin tone, I think this is one of my favorite figures that have come out. In the last two years since I've uh, actually started collecting Legos more. And I uh, really got into it. So actually I'm really um, happy with this figure. I really like this one. Okay, and here's the, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Clatoonian Raiders. You get two with the ATS, ATST Raider. They have uh, different torsos and uh, some different weapons. And uh, this one looks like the Age of Ultron piece around his uh, neck. There's the back printing. He has an extended blaster. You can put these inside the ATST Raider if you like, which I'll show you later. Here's the uh, second Clatoonian Raider. He has um, these spikes on his uh, on his shoulder here, and he has a helmet. He ha they use these um, pieces that um, I'm not sure if they're actually guns, but they use them as guns sometimes. So. That was a little bit surprising to see that. He has like a teal looking uh, scarf on. I think these, uh, I'm pretty sure these uh, heads are the same for these two characters here. So the only uh, difference is uh, really just the accessories and the torso. Okay, so there's all the minifigures. Um, first off, I want to go over the uh, Mac Daddy of them all, the Razor Crest. Here's like an overhead look I can show you. I'll like spin it around and show you. This um really is a nice display piece for at this price point. I think this is uh, pretty awesome. And there's a lot of uh, play features. This comes with a lot of pieces if you're worried about the $130. I pretty much uh, expected um, people to go out and buy this if you're a fan of uh, the Mandalorian or Star Wars in general. I think you really, um this is a really must have for your collection. First off, um, here's uh, the front of it. You can see uh, I put the Mandalorian from the ATST Raider inside the cockpit. You can actually clip on some uh, red studs there if you want to make it look like the lights were on. I know uh, there were a few scenes where there was on um, lights. I think they were red or orange maybe you can clip on there. That would be cool. There's uh, these uh, two blasters on the side, um, which I'll show you later. Actually, um, this uh, whole ship actually completely opens up. First off, um, I'll show you the uh, cockpit part. This part uh, clips off to uh, reveal the cockpit. And if you want, you can um, set Baby Yoda on his lap here. You can fit another uh, character in here as well. And also, if you uh, flip this part up, there's uh, room for uh, two uh, blasters. And uh, there are two Mandalorian figures, so you can put both of his... Uh, of his blasters in there if you like. I think that's a really cool play feature. And uh, that just uh, snaps uh, just right back on, like so. 
And then um, we'll move over here to, um, there's two uh, spring-loaded shooters, one on each side. Um, I'll shoot it at the box just to uh, show you here. You just uh, push this down basically and it shoots off. That's uh, really cool. I'm glad um, they hid that pretty well. It kind of just uh, shows some red. It could even look like a light in a way maybe. And uh, these um, giant engines are incredible. Um, it's a main feature of the ship and um, I think they captured it very well. There's some uh, orange on the back there. Here's the escape pod, which um, just clips right out. Actually, here, I'll take that part off first, but this uh, comes off. And um, there's some studs here where you can um, put a minifigure inside, which I'll uh, put the uh, scout trooper inside for you, just to show you. He kind of just clips right on there. This uh, goes right on top. It's kind of cool you can actually uh see the head inside of here i think that's really neat and uh that pops uh, just right back inside i always mix up which way this goes it does go in this way so this uh, part you're going to want in the front and there's a black part in the back that kind of matches up and corresponds okay so here's the uh, back part of the ship there's not really much to this back here um I like the colors of the ship, honestly, like the, the ship looks more like a shiny, shinier silver, maybe in the actual show, but um, I think this is cool. Here's the um, bottom of it. As you can see, there's uh, three of these like kind of ski slope things just to uh, set it down and rest it. I think that's cool. Kind of looks like the landing gears. I think that's nice. And uh, now I'm going to show you um, actually how this whole ship uh, opens up. This first compartment, you can store the uh, extra ammunition. There's room for three more of those uh, three uh, spring-loaded shooters. Um, this part, I would um, almost call uh, the little like the entrance way where you can walk up maybe and board the ship. Um, this part actually drops down as well here. And if you'd like, there's also this cargo door at the back. Then we'll spin it around again. This part opens up along with this and also right here. And uh, here's a little bed. Um, there's a uh, room for, you can put a minifigure in the bed or you can kind of recreate um, when uh, Baby Yoda is uh, maybe even hiding in, the, in that little room. You can put him inside of here. Hold on, give me one sec. Okay. So um, there's Cara Dune, just uh, taking a little rest there. You get the idea of that. Um, this is where you can uh, slide in actually those uh, carbonite pieces. Um, let me uh, grab these here. This uh, comes with two. And these slide just like right in here. Give me one. So there we go. We got one. And here's number two. So this is uh, really cool. Um, again, um, there's a lot of room in here. For a kid, you can kind of, you don't really even have to clip them on in here. You can kind of just uh, throw your minifigures in here. I think this is all a really cool play feature. And this ship honestly isn't very heavy. I'm not saying that it's cheap that it's light, but I'm glad that it's light. And just the way they're able to cover up all these panels on the outside, I think that took away from a lot of the weight that it would have. But um, this is a great play set and display set. Um, I can't wait for season two to come out. Okay. And, uh, that, that's, um, my, um, A++ review of the Razor Crest. And, um, now I'm going to show you the, uh, ATST Raider here. Let, let me, uh, slide this over here. Okay. This is, um, I think from episode four or five, um, when it, whenever it's, uh, when you see, like, the glowing red eyes, basically, I think this is, uh, Cool they're able to do this. This makes me um, look forward to what they'll do uh, for Season 2 stuff. But um, I don't have an uh, ATST Raider, and I'm a big Return of the Jedi fan, so I felt like I had to have this, especially now that they made the Razor Crest, basically. Um, let me go over all the uh, little play features on this, now that I showed this off. Here's the top. It has a little sticker piece there. This uh, flips up. There's room to uh, fit a little blaster. And you can fit um, either the uh, Clatoonian uh, guard, or the, I'm sorry, the Clatoonian uh, warrior. 
or you can uh, you can put the scout trooper, which I think would be cool too. But um, he fits inside the seat here. Or actually, it's not a seat. It's um, it's more or less sliding his legs in there. It's like a, let me uh, take it out again and show you. There we go. We got a good zoom there. He uh, just uh, slides his legs right on there actually. But uh, this fits on pretty good. You can close that up there. These uh, blasters um, are kind of just like for show. There's um, two different ones on um, either side. Um, I thought it was pretty hard um, to push these in. I will note that. I thought maybe I uh, put it together wrong maybe. Um, but I don't know. As you can even see, I kind of even forced them in and kind of bent the plastic. So if um, if anyone knows how to correct that, maybe uh, let me know in the comments. Um, there's uh, two um, spring shooters. There's the uh, red here. You uh, flick them off in the back. I'll shoot those off at the box again. Okay. And there's a little uh, part here where you can spin it around if you want to do that. I think that's pretty neat. You can move these uh, legs around a little bit, but it's hard to get it really walk. Um, I don't really recommend that. Um, this can be kind of moved up any way you'd like. Um, but uh, I think this is cool. Um, I, I think I paid 40 for this on Walmart. It retailed for 50 And um, just to get the Cara Dune figure, or if you don't have the Razor, Razor Crest, if you want the Mandalorian, I think this is still a good buy. And um, display is nice. Um, it's a little bit harder to play with, I will, I will say, for um, maybe someone under 8, maybe. Or even um, maybe at that age, it's kind of... You kind of just kind of move it around. Um, it kind of gets thrown around a lot, I will admit that. But um, like I said, um, this is also a great um, great buy and a cool Mandalorian set. Uh, lastly, I'm going to show you here um, the uh, battle pack for the Mandalorian. And uh, just uh, what this comes with. And it's kind of cool how um, all these uh, sets kind of match in tone of color. So, um, it, like, if you're like me and you want to put all these uh, sets together, I think they um, blend in very nicely. Um, you get this little um, speeder bike here. It almost looks like backwards in a way. It uh, has a little red light or like a flame shooting back there. Um, it has uh, two stud shooters in the front, which um, I'll flick off at the board again, or at the box, just like that. Okay. So this is a cool, a nice little uh, throw in for pretty much on just buying this. I, I would buy this just for the uh, minifigures, to be honest with you. But uh, this is nice. I think this is cool for uh, maybe some smaller children. This is really light. And with the stud shears, I think that's really cool. It also comes with this um, little rock base, um, which one of the guns you can clip on, kind of make it look, look like he's um, standing behind there and shooting that off. I think that's uh, pretty cool. I took off the uh, other three for this set. I replaced them with regular guns, as I said. But that shoots off just like that. There's the extra uh, stud shooters. And um, this is, um, again, a great set. These Mandalorian uh, sets are really good. I can't wait for uh, Season 2 to come out. And um, I know in the trailer there's maybe some uh, TIE Fighters and X-Wings. I think that would be pretty cool if they could maybe um, do that, maybe possibly for next year. Okay, so I uh, every, hope everyone's staying safe and um, enjoy Mandalorian uh, Season 2. Thank you very much, and uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. All right, peace out.